Hello and welcome back to the Achievement Planner. Today we're going to be talking about East Shade, which unfortunately was just taken off of the Xbox Game Pass. So I'm a little late with it, but uh, it really was a good game. It's, it's I think it's worth buying if, if you enjoy kind of games you can walk around a bit. Um, there, there's not really much conflict at all. There's no fighting. It's really beautiful. Um, it's not too open world, but it's open world enough that I got frustrated. I'm not really a fan of open worlds, but 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 it's really a beautiful game. So anyway, it has 18 achievements, 1,000 gamer score, about two out of ten difficult difficulty only because you try to figure out where to go and stuff. Um, and it's not the easiest, but you know guides can help, of course. Uh, completion time about 15 to 20 hours, might be less, might be a little more, depending on if you could find and do all the missions. Uh, playthrough 1. One playthrough. All story, miscellaneous, and collectible achievements. How do you like that? All one story. Uh, playthrough. So, category 1, story achievements, 5 achievements for 230 gamer score. And these are the ones right here. These are the ones you're going to get no matter what. Um, th this is a tricky game when it comes to story achievements because... Uh, and I think there and back, by the way, is where you leave East Shade at the end of the game. There and back. So, uh, this is a tricky one because some of these missions that you do, like you're going to do these missions, but I think there's a chance that you could miss them. So that's why I put them in miscellaneous. Anyway, category two, miscellaneous achievements, five achievements for 260 gamer score. Number one, Clara's song, 50 gamer score. Play Clara's song on some metal chimes. So next to this one person's house, you're going to find these huge metal chimes and you're just going to play the song. So how do you know what the song is? Uh, well, I looked it up in a guide, so I don't know exactly how you find it, but I'm going to let you find it anyway. That, that would be kind of, that would be spoiler if I told you where to find it, but, uh, you, or you could look it up in a guide, but yeah, you have to play a specific song called Clara's song. All right. Number two, well to do 75 gamer score by OSHA sealant with glowstone. So there's a sealant that you need to progress in the story to do stuff and it's going to help you build something. And do you find OSHA in Nava? That's the like the town. Well, that's like the, the big city, not the town. That's the city. And you can trade Nava. Uh, you could trade OSHA something for the sealant. Or you can do this and have 500 glowstones. Now, 500 glowstones is not easy to get. I think I got enough enough stuff that I found and 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 got from doing different paintings and stuff. Oh, but by the way, this person is a, a paint a painter. Um, so I got enough to sell to OSHA so that that OSHA gave me 500 glowstones back. So I had enough stuff enough glowstones to buy the sealant i bought it i reloaded the game i had all my stuff back and i still had the achievement because the achievement popped once i bought it so you can do that uh have enough glowstones buy it get the achievement go back in and then you'll have everything back all your items and everything i sold everything just to have 500 glowstones so that's how you kind of do that because otherwise you should just do the story mission that you'll get the sealant by trading something for for well trading something to osha all right. So number three, a perfect campsite, 35 gamer score, build your first tent. I put this on miscellaneous because I don't think that I ever needed to use the tent. You can use it. What happens is uh, there's a time thing and where some things happen at night. So you can go in the tent or in the inn or wherever and go to sleep and time will pass. Um, and you could set how long you want it to pass. So building the tent basically is a place you can make time pass. So I never used it. I went to the other places. So that's why I put it in miscellaneous. But building it is an achievement. Same thing with four. Fisher Folk, 50 gamer score. Catch 10 fish. I only... Uh, I, I think you only need to catch a certain amount of fish to get to for the one mission. But I don't think you have to catch, catch necessarily 10. But catching 10 is the achievement. So that's uh, make sure you catch 10. And you can buy the, the fishing rod in Nava, the, the, the city. Uh, and you'll, you'll get that. You'll find that. And there is a mission with the fish. Just so you know, you have to keep catching different types of fish in different parts of the area. Uh, and and you might need a guide for it. I'll put one up. All right. But number five, Keeper of the Forest. 50 gamer score. Leave Eastshade without having Black Thistle in your possession. So here's the deal with this. 
and this is proven because I did it myself. Black Thistle is all over East Shade. I was picking it up before I even looked at this, before I even knew what Black Thistle was. So I did have Black Thistle in my possession. People say if you pick it up once, you have to replay the game and get to get this achievement. All you have to do is sell all the Black Thistle and any tea you made with Black Thistle in it. At the end, and then as you leave East Shade, as long as you don't have any Black Thistle or tea with Black Thistle in it, you will get this achievement. And the only reason why I say this is 100% sure is I did it. And I was kind of testing it out because I already had picked it up. So yeah, so you can do that. And people have said that it worked for them as well. All right, so category three, miscellaneous mission achievements. Three achievements for 135 gamer score. So all the missions in this game are pretty straightforward when it comes to you're going to get them. Um, these are the three that I think if you do it in a different order or you don't do it right, you will miss it. I think. All right, so that's why I put them here, just in case. Number one, detective, 50 gamer score. Correctly identified a thief of Sinkwood Inn. And you're going to do that thief of Sinkwood Inn mission anyway. But I think there's a way to miss it. Um, so I'm not going to tell you who it is. You could still figure that out. But um, if you want to check and make sure you know who it is, you could do that. So number two is... Uh, friend of the first folk, 35 gamer score, paint the novice skyline for Alejo. And this one's kind of complicated. You're going to do something called the chorus of the night. That's where you hear the drummers at night. Um, and so then what, what you need to do after that is you're going to talk to Rain, uh, Rainya, Rania at her house. Then you're going to locate those drummers. Um, but apparently they don't come out every night. Uh, once you see them, go to Rania, talk to Leela at the library, and you have to get the book on the shelf, and then you have to, and then you have to, at midnight, go to the Mud Willows mirror and then paint the skyline. It's this whole complicated thing. I suggest looking up a guide, but I think it's possible to miss it. That's why I'm putting it on there. Once again, I'm not 100% sure. Number, uh, so yeah, you could look that up. Number three, family reunited. I think the guide I'm going to put up hopefully will have all of the missions. All right, so three, family reunited, 50 gamer score, reunite the lost children with their father. So the reason why this one can be missable is because I've heard from people online that if you find the father first before the children, if you rescue the father, basically, he, he's, he's in trouble. If you rescue him first before you find the children, you won't get the achievement. So make sure you find the children first before you rescue the father. Um... You know, I don't know if that's true or not. I rescued the children first, or I found the children first. So, you know, these are all just little things. Um, also, by the way, for, for well, actually, I'll tell you in the next section, on Category 4, which is collectible achievements, five achievements for 375 gamer score. And not all these are collectible, but I had to basically keep track of where they were and keep, like, a collection of a list of all the things. So, um... So that's why I have everything here, even though they're not all collectibles necessarily. But number one, Candle Thief, 75 gamer score, collect all the candles. Almost all the candles are pretty, pretty viewable in all the different rooms and stuff. But you might be like five under, you might not have five or so you're looking for at the end. Um, but, but in your inventory, it says how many wax you have, which are the candles. So you can see how many there are. And I believe there are 31. I think there are 31. I'm looking up right as I'm speaking. You have 31 candles. So, and you can find a, a guide on, you know, where they are, of course. But they're not too hard to find. Uh, number two, Master Brewer, 75 gamer score. Brew every type of tea. So you're going to get a whole bunch of stuff you find. And you just have to brew each kind of tea. So, yeah. And uh, uh, the thing I put up will have a list of that. Too, or I'll put something up with a list. All right. Number three, Prolific Artist, 75 gamer score. Complete every commission from... Yevinay's art gallery. I think I said it right. I don't know. So, in the main town, uh, in the in the main city town, there is this art gallery, and they're going to keep asking you to do different things, and you just have to do them. So, like uh, paint an arch, paint uh, the, a big a big you know paint the skyline, all these different types of things. Um, and you know, again, if you don't want to find them yourself and figure them out, you could just always look at the guide. All right. But the, these are basically all things you need to do. So number four, Adventurous Spirit, 75 gamer score. Discover every location. If you want to just go through this whole thing and find everything, you can do that. A whole bunch of locations. You have to go on a boat for some of them. You have to go on the balloon for some of them. Or for one of them, I think, or two of them. Um, and some of them are hot springs that you get to sit in. And they, and they give you like a, they give you some water. Um, but 
again, guide you can follow. All right, number five, go get her 75 gamer score, complete every quest. And the reason why this one is nerve wracking is because there are 37 quests, uh, there are 37 missions in this entire game. And you, one of them is leaving Ishe, by the way. The, the Just leaving and finishing the game is one of the one of the, the, the missions. Because I missed one. And you only need 36 for the achievement. So I missed one early on in the first part of the town. After you get the guy's head out of the, the thing. <laughs> you'll, you'll know what I'm saying when you see it. You have to go get the soap from the lady. Um, they're not ladies, they're animals. But uh, after you do that, I think you need to talk to her immediately to get the 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 quest about the parent who's not not a good parent unsuitable parent it's called um i could not do this because she wouldn't talk to me so if you don't talk to her right away but i missed that one did all the other ones left east shade that was my 36 so it did count without missing so missing the one so all i can say is just make sure that you do that uh all the other ones are pretty good uh not too hard um, but that's real. That's it. That's the whole game. I was I was very very confused at first because I didn't know what to do, where to go, and all this stuff. But once I started breaking down the achievements and started finding stuff, it wasn't as hard as I thought. Um, you know, and so that's it. I mean, this is a great game. I, I suggest. Oh, the other th only thing about this game that is not good is it's very glitchy. So it might glitch out on you, which it did a lot of times for me. So hopefully it won't for you. And I will see you next time on the Achievement Planner.